everyone, welcome back to my channel. You guys really liked my last uh, crock pot video, so I wanted to do another one for you because crock pot are a girl, crock pots are a girl's best friend, especially when you're pregnant AF and you got two toddlers to take care of and you still want to eat. So, this recipe that I'm starting with today is going to be um, my take on a recipe that I found on Pinterest. A lot of you asked for vegetarian recipes, so I'll leave the link below. You can make this vegetarian very easily by just simply leaving out the chicken. I'm adding chicken thighs to this so that my husband will actually eat it. He does not do the whole vegetarian thing. Um, I could do with or without meat, but anyway, let's get started. The first thing I have is I have my crock pot liner and I have my um, chicken thighs. It's about a pound or so of chicken thighs. And I have here it's about five red potatoes. The recipe calls for two cups. By the way, I didn't even mention this. I'm always in a rush, guys. I'm sorry. But I'm making um, chicken corn chowder, and this was Ella's craving today. So I'm going to have um, two cans of regular corn. Making a mess and one can of sweet corn. So I have the chicken in there, and also with the chicken, if you're if you're doing the chicken, I did salt and pepper my chicken. Um, and then we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. And then a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Gonna mix that all up. And then I have it on high for four hours. And then we're just gonna cover it. So high for four hours, and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna add um, some cream or chicken broth. We'll see what we feel like at the time being. So high for four hours, super easy. Chicken, corn, chowder, I'm gonna call this. Okay, so it's been four hours on high and I'm just adding a cup of half and half. You can substitute this for broth if you're trying to make it like a skinnier, healthier version. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt. A lot more salt. <laughs> Some pepper. I don't know about you guys, but like in my chowders, I love like a lot of pepper. Um, I'm doing some onion. I'm sure you could add fresh onion in the beginning of this recipe. I just didn't have time. And then a little bit of garlic. And then it says to go ahead and let this sit for about 15 minutes. And then after that is when I will add lots of cheese. Also optional is bacon. Sorry, babe, I didn't get any bacon. Sure. So it's been a little under 15 minutes and it already looks really good. I literally just had to like go like this and the chicken fell apart and so did the potatoes and the potatoes made it like nice and thick texture. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add some cheese. No measurements here. This is um, Mexican blend, but use whatever cheese you like. We love we love our cheese in this family. And then you can always use more to top your own bowl. I bet you green onions would be really good in this too, but I don't have any to top it with. Yum oh. That was super easy. Hopefully it tastes good. Okay guys, so for this crock pot meal, I really have no idea what I'm doing. It's pretty much just a craving. And I'm gonna see how it goes and update you. And if it's good, I'll upload it. So I just have two heads of broccoli here, um, a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and then five red potatoes. And you can see I cut them up about this size. Don't mind shimmer and shine, you guys. It's that mom life. but. I'm gonna put minced garlic, onion, black pepper, and salt all over everything because why not? So everything is seasoned very well and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit 
of my chicken broth just so it has some liquid in there. So you see I didn't put too much. I just want to um, get some liquid in there to kind of steam everything. And I'm going to do that on high for about four hours. I will check on this. And I'm thinking about adding some cheese at the end. We'll see what Ella wants when the time comes. Four hours later and this looks absolutely delicious. The potatoes are nice and soft. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Look, does that look so good? Mmm. Yeah, I'll go eat that. What do you think? Good. It's so good. You got barbecue sauce on it. A little bit of butter on your potatoes. Got broccoli. I don't like potatoes. You don't know if you like potatoes or not. You won't try it. Tanner, you don't want to use your fork, baby? How's the chicken? Good. Good. Mmm. Yummo. Hey guys, another crock pot meal today. Again, chicken. Pretty much the only meat I can eat um, this pregnancy. So sorry about all the chicken recipes, but stay tuned. Maybe in the next one after Ella is born, which will be very soon. <sighs> I will do some other meats besides chicken, but I really don't eat pork or red meat. Probably like not for the past year or so. My recipes are usually either um, some kind of chicken recipe, um, seafood, or vegetarian. Anyway, let's get into it. I have my chicken thighs in here, about a little less than a pound. I'm going to, of course, season them first with salt, pepper, onion and garlic and then I'm going to throw some tomato basil garlic sauce on it I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and um, I'm really excited about this meal it's just because I've been craving something like this it'll probably give me even worse heartburn than I already have um the one thing that I will say is that if the boys weren't going to eat this meal which I'm hoping they will, you never know with toddlers, but I would also add red pepper flake because Chris and I like um, like a spicier sauce. Okay, let me add my sauce. I'm gonna do this on high for four hours, but before I do so, I'm going to add some of my little mozzarella balls. And I have never made this before. Um, <laughs> Ella again is inspiring this recipe so Ella gave me this idea and I hope that it turns out good I also have stuff to make some gluten-free garlic bread and a little side salad to go with it so these are the mozzarella balls or being politically correct um, mozzarella pearls that I'm going to be adding into it right now so this is what it looks like we like cheese in this family so I may wind up adding some fresh mozzarella at the end I am going to make pasta with this as well. And for the pasta, I had a lot of questions on my last video because I didn't clarify, but I um, I make the pasta like according to the box at the end and then I'll just mix it all in and then if it needs more sauce, I will add more sauce. We're about two hours in and I just added some more mozzarella, but it smells and looks delicious. So this is what I'm going to be using to make our gluten-free garlic bread. This is by far my favorite brand for bread so far. So for these, I just cut them this way to make it easier for the kids. Put some butter, some garlic powder, and a little bit of salt on both sides. And I'm just going to cook these on 350, and I will update you on how long these took to cook. This is the pasta that I use. This is what we usually use. So that's all cooked and I'm just going to start mixing it in. So if you want the um, chicken more shredded, definitely shred it before you do the pasta. 
This is kind of more like chunks. I do like it more shredded, so I kind of wish I would have shredded it before I added the pasta because I'm, I don't want to break up my pasta, but it'll still be good. And now I'm just going to top it with some mozzarella and then put the cap back on for a couple of minutes while I make my salad. And this is how the garlic bread came out after 25 minutes on 350. It looks perfect. Here is our little salad. How is it, Bubba? Tanner wanted to start with his salad, huh? Mm -hmm. Carter, how is everything? Good. Good. Daddy? Delicious. Very good. <laughs> hey guys, so here is our fourth and final crock pot meal. Um, if you've been watching Baby Watch, you know I've been in uh, early labor for a few days now, but I feel like this is easy enough for me to throw in. I did finally get a new crock pot, which is super exciting. I just got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, you know, they always have good coupons. Are you okay, sweetheart? Let me see. Carter got a boo-boo on his head. But the quinoa is making it better, right? So, anyway, mom life, sorry. I have three chicken breasts in my crock pot. I'm going to put in, where did it go? This packet of fajita seasoning. So just gonna sprinkle on that fajita seasoning. This is my first time making this and it's kind of just winging it, but I can't see how it could turn out bad. I think it'll be delicious. And then I'm just going to add, I have one um, sweet yellow onion and one red pepper. So I'm gonna add those right on top of the chicken. Yellow onions are my favorite. I'm not a big uh, raw onion fan, but cooks I really enjoy yellow onion. Um, Will I be having to take Tums? Probably, but what else is new? And then our red pepper, spreading it out across the top. And then the fajita um, packet seasoning calls for a half a cup of water. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put in a half a cup of water right on top of that. Close it up and just see how this cooks. I'm doing high for four hours. So Chris made nachos out of his fajitas. He absolutely loved it. He said that it was mild enough, so that's why the boys ate it as well. And I would say if you want it a little bit more spicy, maybe add some jalapenos to it um, or any other kind of um, spices. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope that you enjoyed it and this gave you just some easy, simple meal ideas and just to make your life a little bit more simple because we could all use simplicity. Simplicity. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is it good? Strangers, believe me when I say, loving me is.